वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डेमी और सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट प्लानिंग इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट वन क्वेश्चन वन वट इज अ बेस प्रोजेक्ट स्केजुअल आंसर अ बेस लाइन इज एन अप्रूव प्रोग्राम बाई बोथ पार्टीज विच इज यूज एज a benchmark to measure the progress of a project question number 2 what is the main driver of a project and how you will get it answer the main driver consists of the significant activities that are driving the project at the critical path to get it just go to last activity and check its driving activity then go to that activity that driving activity and mark its driving also same goes until you reach the first activity this is typically done through scheduling software like primavera p6 microsoft project etc question number 3 how many baselines are allowed in any project and which baseline decides the success or failure of the project answer a project must have a minimum of one project baseline and that number can go to unlimited but if you find a number of baselines that means the planning team is quite inefficient avoid it the latest baseline defines the success or failure of any project question number 4 what are the key performance indicators or kpis answer a kpi is type performance measurement on a particular activity were engaged kpis are defined by keeping a factor what matters the most a careful study and analysis are required to define because it differs from organization to organization like a critical kpi for you may not be one of any interest of other same type organization it is a really a diverse area example rubber lining concrete work machine failures in a specific duration plantation number of hiring or firing training etc question number 5 what you normally need to develop a plan answer i need the contract documents to understand the scope the schedule drawings to know about areas bill of quantity boq including cost scheduling of software assess yes i need to meet my project team to know about a little productivity rate if i don't know in case of any specific activity question number 6 how do you define a critical path answer the longest path and the minimum time required to complete a project a combination of activities with the total float as zero are included all question number 7 how much duration a milestone activity normally has answer well there are different types of milestones are there like start milestone or finish milestone etc but all have zero duration question number 8 what is the difference between free float and total float answer free float the amount of time we can delay 
an activity without affecting the early start date of its successor activity. Total float, the amount of time we can delay an activity from its early start date without delaying the whole project finish. The free float may affect the start of any activity but total float may affect the duration of the overall project. Question number 9. What is the difference between change order and variation order request? Answer. Technically, there is no such differences. Change order or variation request is a change in scope from the contract but as per contract. If you are much curious which term should be used the better, refer your contract documents personally. Personally, I have heard the term variation order but never seen any documentation. For everywhere they write a change order request. Question number 10. How to measure a progress of a project? Answer. Normally, there are three ways to measure the progress. One, man hours. Two, cost. Three, quantity. My preferred method is through man hours as it is more logical, but I have to comply as per contractual obligations as most of the companies prefer through cost. By the way, sometimes we have to use all three methods on a single project to get more intensive project updated status. Question number 11. Have you heard about the kickoff meeting? Answer. Yes, I have handled a number of kickoff meetings on different projects and companies. The kickoff meeting is normally the first meeting of all major stakeholders including the project manager with his team and owners representatives. Here we can discuss high level overall plans, things like how we are going to execute and once things get clearer as projects go forward then we do rolling wave planning. These meetings can be conducted at the new phase start during the execution of project also. So my video will be continued. This video will be to be continued from next part. You will see after this video with a part 2 name. And if you till not subscribe our channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to press bell icon and also like comment and share our channel we will come up with part two and further more parts of planning engineers question and answer during an interview thanks for watching soft edemi again